for watching Wood and Shop. I'm Joshua Farnsworth. When you get started in traditional woodworking, it can be really overwhelming. There's a lot of tools out there, a lot of hand tools, and you're not quite sure what to buy. Well, I've, I've compiled a list of the ba very basic set of tools that you need to get started, tools that will last you a lifetime. Um, and in this video, I'll be talking about a shoulder plane. Um, in more particularly, a large shoulder plane is what I would recommend starting out with. You won't need to buy this right off the bat, but you'll find that you'll run into it pretty soon. So I like the large size because it's, it can cover the smaller size joints that you're cutting as well as the larger. It's a little bit more money, but it's worth it. I uh, wouldn't recommend so much buying it used as new. That's one of the few things that, <laughs> that I would, one of the few times I would say that, but um, these can these can be uh, off and out of true quite easily, and they're kind of hard to restore and bring back. Uh, so, there, but there are some great heirloom quality tool makers that have come on the scene uh, in the past couple decades that are making some beautiful shoulder planes. You can check my tool buying guide under the hand plane buying guide. Uh, there's a button below this or a link. Uh, you can check out my recommendations on brands and uh, models. Um, I don't mention them in the video because brands may change and it's easier to update a web page. So uh, shoulder planes are used, uh, well they get their name from cutting the shoulders on tenons, but they're also very useful for things like uh, cutting rabbits, uh, uh, smoothing out the bottoms of dados, lots of things. So you will run into it. So. I hope this has helped you. If it has, then subscribe up there with the blue button and visit woodandshop.com and uh, check out my videos and articles on how to get started in traditional woodworking.